Ending your day on the right note is really important. It sets the tone, it sets the stage for the rest of your evening when you go home, when you have more important things to wrestle with, like what's for dinner. And it also helps declutter your mind and it helps set the stage for a successful start to the day the next morning. So here are 10 ideas for things that you could consider doing to end your day on the right note. Number one, phone a colleague or phone a customer just to check in with them. Just to say you were thinking about them and you just wanted to check in and see how they were doing. It'll make you feel good and it will make them feel great. Number two, create a day and ritual where you send one thank you email to somebody at the end of every workday. Number three, spend the last 15 minutes of your workday starting a project that you've been procrastinating, that you've been putting off. In other words, take that first small bite out of that big elephant. It'll help build some momentum. It'll make you feel good. And the next morning you'll be able to dive into it because you've already done the most difficult part often, which is just get started. Number four, tidy up your workspace, clean up your office, clean up your desk. So you start the day the next day with a clean, welcoming office. Number five, knock off one small item from your to-do list to give you a final sense of accomplishment at the end of the day. Number six, write your to-do list or your plan for the next day. It's a great way to get all that stuff that might be cluttering your brain, all those brain monkeys that are going to take up space when you're back home. So get that down on paper now. Do your to-do list or your plan of action list for the following day as the last thing you do at the end of this day. Number seven, consider meditating. Take a few moments to meditate at the end of every day to give your brain, to give your body a chance to decompress and to shift your brain out of work mode and into a more calming, relaxed mode for the rest of the day after work. Number eight, think of some ritual you can do. Some ritual that kind of symbolizes you locking up the office for the day mentally. It could be something fun, something goofy, or just something that's symbolic that shows that you are now closing the office for the day. Research shows that that's a really powerful, really effective way to declutter your mind and to do the mental shift that we need to do from work to our personal life. Number nine, take the time to reflect on what went well during your day. Better still, write it down. Write down your three top wins of the day. It's one of the most powerful things that we can do to boost our level of happiness, to celebrate our small wins, to celebrate the small things that we're grateful for. And it's especially important that you do this when it's a really challenging day where you feel like nothing went well be extra intentional on those days about writing down the things, looking for the things that actually did go well. Number 10, get up and do the fun dance in front of everybody. Oh yeah, at the end of the day, as your end of day ritual. Or blast out, we are the champions from your loudspeakers. Or yell out, I'm out of here, suckers. And then drop the mic. I'm kidding, of course, but do something. Do something fun, silly, just goofy. Create a ritual that is really goofy and fun and playful to make that break between the end of your workday and the the start of your rest of your day. What is that called? Your post work day. You know what I mean. So what about you? Do you have an end of day work ritual that works really well for you? A tradition, a ritual, something you like to do at the end of every day. Please leave a comment in the comment box below. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my inspiring workplaces channel, please hit the subscribe button. Join our growing community as we talk about workplaces that rock.